Hey everyone, it is Thursday, <clears throat> hadn't really done a video this week, it poured last night, um, so we're not forwarding today, the sun just came out so it doesn't really look that bad, but this yard's mush and we just mess it up for uh, the truck, so we got some, starting to get some wood piled up, um, and we got the main trail um, pretty much taken care of. You can see how mushy and wet it is. And this is sandy ground, so this would be where, I mean, it's, you can tell it's just, it would just be a mess. So, and we'd end up just hurting stuff more, so. Wes left a buggy on there last night. I really didn't know it was going to rain this much, but you see we got this all brushed in real well and we've had to do some fixing on the main trail out that way. And um, I taught the budding landowner called me on that side and it looks like she wants to do something. She's got 40 acres, the ground's too wet, but they, they actually have a decent flat road that comes in off the main road here and I asked her if I could use that she said yes so I'll probably cut another trail right in there today over not that far and open that road up because we just don't have enough room here um, um, the truck was broke down this week which really wasn't great timing because this will probably dry up pretty quick but we're not going to get enough done this week I mean, I had uh, my brother-in-law's father come over and clean up the pine that was here because it was starting to get that, starting to get that white crystallizing on the end, and Irving doesn't like that, so, and I figured we're not going to be cutting, getting into the pine for a little bit, but, anymore, so that gives us a little more room, but we just don't have room here. We have the pallet logs, we have the hardwood. And then we have some grade logs that he piled back there just to get out of the way. But then we have eight foot softwood pulp and some tree length that I cut at first because I wasn't exactly sure where I was gonna bring it. So there's just not enough room in this yard. So having that yard over there would make things a lot easier. So, and uh, last couple days I've, I got the, Milwaukee high torque which made that taking that panel off a lot easier but um the last um few days it hasn't been that warm you know it might be mid high 60s the sun out and the air conditioning and this thing just wasn't keeping up so um I went and got a bottle of uh AC and uh, I haven't had to mess with this yet but um I put a whole bottle in and it still was low. So I see I emptied this one and I went and got a few more. So basically, I don't know if you can see it, but right in there this has got a quick coupler that hooks to it and I gotta have the machine running, but and I'll just unscrew that, screw it on there and We'll see if she takes some more because it took that whole bottle and it still set was in the low so
looks like I got the air conditioning figured out. Um, I was kind of nervous I overfilled it. I haven't messed with um, AC a lot. Um, but I put, I think, three cans of that vidrin in there. And still wasn't coming up into the green, but not really thinking about that. Maybe the compressor hadn't kicked in it after talking to my brother-in-law and there's a right below the seat there's a screen that is where the fans suck all the air to blow out and, it, and that thing was completely clogged so I went and did that and um, cleaned that out put everything back together and when I got back as you saw it was in the green and then when the sensors would tell it to kick off, it dropped down, and then when it kicked back up, it'd be in the green. So it looks like I got that all figured out without overcharging the system. So that's pretty good because even yesterday it was getting kind of gross in there. So, anyways, that was a success. So it took a little bit of thinking on my part, but figured it out. So, like, subscribe, comment. We'll catch you later.